Hello friends, this is Sai, Sai Fanindra from SQL School, assuring you complete practice oriented lectures on a beautiful and colorful course, a nice option to upskill ourselves, Azure Data Engineer. This particular course completely practice oriented, completely real time, including the DP203, DP203 examination certification guidance. In our classes, we we'll start with Azure Fundamentals and slowly proceed for various DP203 data engineering concepts like data factory, synapse analytics, data lake, so on. This particular short demo session now planned for about five minutes. We'll understand what are the components involved in this course and purpose of each of them we are into this particular black box or this particular box you see on the screen the complete box let's understand what exactly we are going to learn in this particular item and the prerequisites to step into this four box plus one four plus one environment the prerequisite sql server we need to have knowledge on basics of SQL Server constraints, joins in 2017 or 19 or 2022. Any one version is okay. Revise SQL Server basics so that we can have a good start with our practical real time scenario oriented Azure data engineering classes. Number one, we'll start with Azure fundamentals. We'll understand what exactly cloud means and what is Azure Cloud, something called infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. Three different implementations with additional activities on resources. We have something called Azure Resources, Resource Groups, Active Directory, Monitor, so on. After we understand the fundamentals, number two, we'll start with Azure SQL concepts. Here, the main purpose of Azure SQL is to understand SQL pool, their actual data warehousing environment. This SQL pool sits inside as Azure, Azure Logical Server or Azure SQL Server. We'll understand about various metrics, firewalls, and regular SQL Server Management Studio connections. Number three comes Azure Data Factory. In this course, in Azure Data Factory module, we'll understand various extract, transform, and load activities, ETL concepts, data warehouse, pipeline, triggers, incremental nodes, something called notebooks, loops data flows power query pivot etc a lot of activities will do in data factory concepts planned for about good number of examples about 20 plus pipelines will understand in data factory we have synapse analytics that includes all activities of data factory plus additionally we have something called dedicated sql pool creations Apache Spark pool creation, SQL, Spark SQL notebooks, parameters, dynamic connection, JSON, JavaScript object notation, a nice user interface option, and more. We'll do. Then we'll slowly go into number five, Azure Storage Account. Here we'll understand about various storage services including blob binary large object tables queues file shares etc we use this storage account mainly for staging etl logging data imports and on premise to azure migrations number 6 an extension to storage account called azure data lake storage we say adls that includes additional security items with ACL access control list, 
optimization techniques synapse analytics synapse store and more we have something called lake databases a newly introduced and a nice amazing storage media in azure called lake databases we'll understand them with synapse analytics synapse storage and more number seven we have azure stream analytics in our classes in this data engineering course we'll understand live real-time capture data capture activities with iot hubs internet of things iot hubs event hubs stream analytic jobs something called transformations formatting the data integrations and etc number eight we'll understand about azure data bricks for capturing and handling live as well as historical data with apache spark pi spark scala i assume we are very very new to this environment i assume we are very new to spark new to scala new to pi spark and we'll take it from the scratch right from the basics the main beauty of azure data bricks 100% end to end etl implementations with big data analytics power bi iot event hubs and data factory pipelines so our course includes the main core heart of our course azure data factory with additional add-ins the circles and the boxes we'll go slowly step by step understanding the real time project right from the scratch until power bi and analytics so to make it clear and straight in our data engineering course we'll be starting with azure fundamentals first slowly step into storage etl extract transform load and other components and once we complete all these concepts then comes the project implementation and the project implementation includes the project implementation includes right from the azure data factory and synapse analytics to data lake data bricks stream analytics and iot internet of things this complete box it is a complete box with total of four plus one components together gives us the azure data engineering course curriculum you may extend your learning to power bi later point of time and here is our courses brochure we are into box number seven azure data engineer right from the fundamentals to data factory synapse analytics storage data bricks spark sql pi spark and delta lake activities once you are done with your azure data engineering you may plan for power bi separately if you wanted to it's up to you you are aware of sql server concepts please revise them constraints joins enough enough to step into box 7 if in case if anyone is new to sql server new to database start with box 1 then go for box 7 so the prerequisites we need to first step into database and sql concepts you are already aware of them you go straight into azure data engineering classes i assure you complete practice oriented lectures with a nice real time project for our azure data engineering course if you are looking for something into experience in your profile you may also opt for the power bi course in addition to azure data engineering course with this information i assure you complete practice oriented lectures right from the scratch right from the basics 
with nice chapter wise content and concept wise FAQs and solutions with good number of scenarios and the project work for your resume. Thank you very much. Have a nice time and let's meet in a live demo session. You may register on our website sqlschool.com. Let's have a nice, friendly environment in the live demo class. We'll understand more about the course, the type of concepts, the type of notes, the type of FAQs, and the type of project work. Thank you very much. Have a nice time. Thank you once again. I once again wanted to repeat that sessions would be completely practical, completely real time. So I need your support on time practice. Either you go for on demand videos or live training. Either of them on time practice is highly recommended to enjoy our classes step by step and do the mock test, the day to day mock tests in our classes. Completely practice oriented. Concept wise FAQs, scenario based. You submit and get my solutions back. Thank you very much once again. Have a nice time. Thank you once again.